Hey, this is Frankie Joy Riders. I'm going to tell you all why I am not at the 2020 RTR, which is taking place as I record this. And hang on, because I have a true story. I'm smiling because I'm always going to take the joy route. But this story is nothing to smile about. Stay tuned. I'm looking for something called Hiva Cleanse. It is a antibacterial soap that you need to use that they've asked me to use prior to surgery. They said it's in the first aid. And as I'm standing here, my legs are numb. But uh, let's see where with the Hiva Cleanse would be. Maybe down here. I don't see Hiva Cleanse. I don't see it, I don't see it, I don't see it, I don't see it, I don't see it. HIPAA cleanse. Oh, here it is right here. HIPAA cleanse. Okay, I'm going up to surgery. I'm at Mercy with my people. Y'all walk. Where are we going up to? It's the second floor. And I'm hurting. I feel like they should have gave me a wheelchair. Because my back feel like an old crunch bag. It feels so painful. It really do. We're going up to two. We're going up. We're going in the elevator. Do it. You should have seen that soap they had me uh, take a shower in. Yeah. You've had that just right? Uh oh. Surgery, surgery. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Pardon me. I just want to oh, put that you. in so we don't yes. hit nothing. Thank you so much. So it's the 22nd, and I had my surgery this morning. This is Frankie. And um, so I'm going. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Um, thank you. Thank you. Can I get out this way or should I go the other way? You can get out that. You can go this way. Do you mind? Uh, Shooting that to the side, I don't know if I can make that turn. It is a little tight there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's good out here. Appreciate it. Thank you. So I'm leaving the recovery area and I'm going up to my room. And uh, yeah, it's been so. How do I feel? And you know, it's a shaky camera. I feel. Let me see. Um, well, I have my pain medication, so I guess that adds to helping me feel more comfortable. But, um, yeah, I'm just, it's, it's, um, right now, aside from my neck, I'm okay. But I feel like when I go home, I go van home, it's going to be grueling. So I'm just taking a joy route, taking a joy ride, even though it's shaky. I'm taking it. I'm going up, 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 up. My cousin Marisha is back there. Say hi, Marisha. Hey. And also the nice gentleman that is um, pushing all this lard around. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not lard. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, it's interesting. Um, well, like I said, it's the 22nd. I would have been at the RTR. And I'm so disappointed. But also, as my beloved grandmother would say, your health is your wealth. The bed is shaking, and it truly is your wealth. So we're going, taking a joy route, a joy ride, in a hospital. Who goes to the hospital before a major trip? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just gonna take you all for the joy ride. I'm laying in bed. My mouth is dry as I don't know what. My cousin had the nerve to call me David Chappelle, and how dare she? I can't even laugh because my throat is all messed up. So we're going in the elevator, going in the elevator. There's that cousin of mine. You know how your cousins are your friends. She's become one of my best friends, right, Nicole. Um, oh, five, three more. Three. With you? Okay. She's going with us.
He's sleepy. He builds in there all these couple of me. We're going down, 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 down. To get a tray route. Yeah. Hello everyone, this is Frankie, and I'm not going to the 2020 RTR. Today is January, Wednesday the 22nd, and I had my back surgery, my emergency back surgery today. They went in through my neck. Um, it's just been one heck of a ride. Um, it's been a difficult journey. I'm taking the joy route despite everything. I'm swollen. Um, I have received a lot of texts and some inbox, or not inbox, but emails. And I promise to get back to each and every person. I look, oh, this is, I'm in pain, y'all, I'm in pain. It's been my dream to go to the RTR since 2017 in 2018 and 2019 and 2020 all the stars aligned but one star didn't align this fall had a pretty nasty fall so let me give you kind of a long uh or the short of a long story as i tell you why i'm in the hospital and as I do that, I'll give you a tour of my room just because I just don't want to be on camera. But so that's the bathroom as if you care. And uh, this is back here, the nurse's station. Um, you see, I still have my laptop still doing work, even in the hospital. Um, so here it is. I have the TV on just because I don't own the TV. And um, what do you do if you turn it on right? I haven't watched it. On that board, I don't know if I could zoom in or not, but if you see the medicine's name, I'm on some heavy duty meds. Um, so yeah, I just have the TV on. Um, yesterday, my cousin and my son, my oldest son was over. So my, um, oh, so the, the, my cousin was going to spend the night, but the food here, she said sucked. It's actually okay. And she'll come back tomorrow. My son also came. It took him an hour to get here. So my youngest son dropped me off. My cousin stayed with me. Then later on, my cousins came to see me. And um, we took some photos and everything. I might show them in here. This is my room. And um, it's a pretty big room. So let me give you all just a short of the long. I don't know what that, that TV show. I think it's something like Survivor. Um, I don't know. But... And you see it's 2.56 in the morning. It's like, um, I think the day is Thursday, January the 23rd. And um, I'm just going to show you some stuff. Oh, boy. They, um, I got some tea. I had some herbal tea, but I don't know where it's at. Um, so let me tell you the quick, or the long, the short of a quick story of why I am in this hospital room. Ho hospital. I'm in the hospital. So, I fell in October, like the second week of October. The date I fell was October the 14th. And so, after I fell, I was taken to the hospital, a different hospital, um, by ambulance. And I hit my hit, hip and my head. But I was told that, um, even though I hit my hip and my head, I was told that when they did the CAT scan and everything, I was pretty much fine. Well, when I left to go home, I did not feel fine at all. Let's see if you can see the TV while we're watching. I did not feel fine at all. And so I, I started to notice a pinch in my back. And I was very sore as if I had been in a wrestling match or some kind of violent accident, which I had been in a very significant accident. So I, the emergency told me to follow up with my primary care. And, but before that, so it's to be primary, primary care, but, and so, but before that, I ended up going to the emergency room because my neck, I could not straighten my neck. And so, 
went to the emergency room. They did an x-ray and said, oh, you're fine. Follow up with your primary care. The same thing, same advice. And um, I followed up with my primary care. And her, she read the x-rays, did a little, you know, test for my hand strength and arm strength and all of that. I got to lean back. So she did a test, and the test was pretty, um, I mean, it came back normal. She said I was normal. And I told her, no, something's wrong with me. So basically, they just, not, I'm not saying blew me off because that's not the right word, but in her capacity as a physician, she did what she thought, but she is not a specialist. She gave me a referral to an orthopedic doctor. So this is, I went to see the emergency on October, I went to the emergency on October the 30th, because I remember I was making a joke, I couldn't straighten my neck, and I said, I'm not, I'm not a, a hunchback of Notre Dame. So they, I made that joke, and they said I had something called radiculopathy, and I followed my doctor, so they actually gave it a term, what I have. This show is like, um, I guess it's like Survivor. And so they actually gave a diagnosis of what I had. Cut to, follow my doctor, she didn't think anything was wrong. But she gave me a, a, a referral to an orthopedic doctor. Orthopedic doctor, the first day he read my x-rays, he said, yeah, you've got something going on. He really didn't provide much more information. He said, I'm going to have you do an MRI. Let me let you all see this. I'm going to have you, have you do an MRI and a, um, so the court vials, values, the stewardship. So I'm gonna let you, so I, she said that he's going to do an MRI. He wasn't. He sent me to have an MRI and a EMG. EMG tests hand strength and nerve, if there's any nerve damage. I had started to notice that I could not pick up, um, well, I could pick up things, but I could not take things off. For instance, I could not take off a jar of, a cap of a jar of peanut butter, or I could not, um, like, open a bottle of water sometimes or even turn off my gas cap. I was just losing hand strength. So when my MRI came back, and mind you, it took so long to get in to see the orthopedic doctor. The office was on um, vacation, basically, and it was just a long, long process. And so, um, but I suffered through it. I begged for an earlier appointment. I had some medicine, like some muscle relaxers, so that was what I went with. Came back, this was like, the doctor, the first time I saw the orthopedic doctor was December 20th. Like, in a couple of days, I had the MRI and the EMG. After having the MRI and the EMG, I had, I went back to see the same doctor, and he said, yeah, you've got some, some, some issues going on with your back. I see some stuff, but I'm going to let you talk to another doctor in our, um, in our office. And I said, okay. They scheduled me the very next week or the very later in that week with another sur surgeon who I didn't know at the time. And I asked the nurse scheduler, I said, who am I seeing? And she said, you're seeing um, the, sur the spine surgeon. I'm like the spine surgeon. Long story short, I saw the spine surgeon. It was a couple of days before I was set to leave to drive to the MRI, maybe a week before or a week and a half. I'm not even sure of dates. I'm up kind of I'm on my medicine. But so they gave me that date. And, and my mouth is really dry. It's drying out as I speak because my throat is so very sore. So he said, you need to have an operation. And I'm like, okay, sure, I'll have it in March. But I, at this time, my arms were keeping me up at night. I was rubbing my arms. I had all these complications as a result of this, what I later found out was a herniated disc and no fluid on my spine. I said, here, I'm going to Arizona. And he said, well, how are you getting there? I said, I'm driving. And he goes, you're not going to drive. He said, you'll end up in the Arizona hospital. If you fall, or even if you're in a car accident, you'll end up paralyzed. So like I called my son and my cousin. I went to talk to them. I started crying because I thought, I remembered that in 2017, 2018, 2019, I wanted to go to the RTR, but I felt like the, 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 the stars weren't aligned. They were not aligned. If I had the money, I had personal family issues. If I didn't have the money, um, uh, it, it just was something. And so in 2020, I decided to start saving in 2019 for an entire year, really longer than that. I also sold my truck. And so I saved up a lot of money. And during the month of December, I had been talking to a very, who I was, someone who I would consider a friend. And I was talking to her. 
And we were just going back and forth on the things we were going to bring, the, su the supplies, the um, everything we were going to bring and how we were going to share. I bought gifts for her and a couple of other um, YouTubers that I, that I really like. And so my mouth is so dry. It's drying up. Excuse me. I'm going to put... I'm going to put it on pause and come back. I had to drink a sip of tea. And um, I, so it, this all happened so fast. So he told me, he said, you need surgery. So the surgery nurse, surgery nurse came in, our scheduler, and she said, he wants to see you immediately. And I'm like, you don't understand, I'm going to Arizona. She said, what happened to you? I said, well, I fell in October, and slowly I started having all these symptoms. It went from my neck to my shoulders to my back to my arms, which were the worst feeling in the world. And she said, you know, he doesn't recommend you go in there. He's expressed that to you. He recommends you get an immediate appointment. I talked to my sons. I talked to my cousins, and they're like, look, you can go to Arizona anytime. And I'm like, no, this is like a van convention. It's like a van or RV or anyone that lives in their vehicle. It's a convention where you get to learn. You get to meet people from all over the country. I'm not kidding. I have met some wonderful people that I have become f phone friends and Internet friends with, and we email and we text and we call. And there's one special person. Well, there's two. Special people. Well, three, actually. Well, it's more than three. I would say it's, it's, it's about ten that I just, but but three of them I talk to more frequently than the other ones. But um, we are just talking about our love of travel and being on the road because that's what my channel, Taking the Joy Route, is about. So anyway, my schedule, my surgery, today is the 23rd, Thursday. My, my schedule for surgery was the 22nd they went through my neck that's why you see the bandages because they have to like move your throat over I woke up yesterday from surgery and I was still in pain I was dis discombobulated I was disoriented and I was still in a lot of pain and I stayed in like the recovery area for a couple of hours and then um, they took me where I could see my family the only person was up here at the time was my cousin. Everybody else was at work or school. I told him I only need one person. Don't, you know, come up. And listen, mind you, they had given me a van warming party just, I want to say, a couple of weeks before this. So I had a lot of gifts. I still have not put up my gifts for Christmas. It's not that I'm ungrateful. I'm very grateful for my gifts. But as you all know, I'm ready my room for my cousin. The room is very crowded, and my stuff is in storage, and it's in my van, and it's... Here, there, and everywhere. So, I need some more tea. Um, so, that's what happened. And, I mean, it, some, there were some days where I just cried. Because I feel like, it's not that, I feel like I'm still going to meet a lot of the people that I hope to meet. And I feel like it. I know I am. Because I'm going to get on a roll. But I feel like the van, the RTR, it's like where you get your cherry popped. No, you know, I'm not trying to be, you know, nasty or anything. But... Not nasty. Having sex is nasty. But, you know, it's like you do something for the very first time. I think anybody that's considering living in their car or vehicle or van, they need to um, go to the RTR to learn, to meet people, to circulate in case you want to do a caravan, all that kind of good stuff. I was really looking to a couple of seminars by some of my favorite YouTubers. And I was just, I just had big plans. And all of a sudden, my plans is halted. And I'll tell you, I cried tears on and off, like three days, I cried tears. I cried tears. It was very difficult to do anything. Um, and so that's the story in a nutshell. Um, if I think of anything else, I'm going, I'll am going. i bring it to you. I'm going to drink some more tea right now. It's hard to get up. I've been walking around because they do encourage you to walk around. I got this little, what I call a little blood cup. And this is very gross, but let's see if I can show you. Here is my blood cup. That's very nasty. It's um, attached because I had surgery in my neck. So, um, yeah. But um, let me get off. I'm still going to take the joy route. And we'll talk it, we'll talk it a bit. So I'm happy that my cousin and my son are here to see me. So this is Wednesday, January 22nd. And I had back surgery, emergency back surgery. And, uh, yeah, I can't eat this. It won't go down my throat, but even if it would go down my throat, uh, yeah. So, I'll tell you all about it. Just keep listening. Ooh, that's a bathroom. 
Thank you everyone who has, um, I'm going to show you a list of my meds. If you look really closely, you'll see my meds list. Look at that. Isn't that insane? Talk soon. Hey y'all, it's about 5 or 7, no, it's 8 o'clock a.m. on a, um, it's Wednesday morning. I've pretty much been out up all night. Um, I am in a great deal of pain. And I want to show you kind of, this is the surgery that I had done. Gives you an idea of they go in and operate on your neck. Except I didn't have the fusion. I don't think I had the donor bone. But I want to say thank you very much for watching my channel. Thank you for reaching out and texts and phone calls. I will be calling you back. Um, it's just, uh, I'm taking the Dre route. But this Dre route, oh, this is painful. Um, they said, because yesterday, early in the day, I felt Okay, and then it started to get really bad in the evening. So I'm waiting on the nurse now, and we'll see what's going on. I'll keep you informed. I want to say thank you to everyone. Um, please click subscribe. If you aren't subscribed, hit the notification button. And thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Take the joy route.